lazy rider. Clear the path. I'm a runaway. I repeat, I'm a runaway. Take care of these and I'll uh, call the county mounting. Let's go. Get up. Sam, stop. Lizzie, what are you doing? Get out of here. Hale shooting at the gas tank. If I don't get this rig out of town, there's going to be no town. Relax, I'm one of the good guys. Huh? Name's Casey. Oh. Intersect. Oh, okay. Of course, of course. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Arthur Hale of Intersect's Technological Division. Nice to meet you. Okay. I was supposed to meet Mr. Driscoll 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it's all right, so was I. Listen, you got any idea who those turkeys were? Well, let's just say that Mr. Driscoll will get into that after the briefing. All right. Tripolity. Dr. Hale's new fuel additive. So-called because it triples vehicular mileage. Seventy miles to one gallon? On one gallon of the mixture, yes. Cars with special carburetors did even better. Congratulations, Dr. Hale. This certainly will reduce our dependence on foreign oil. Yeah, but then uh, one man's meat's another man's poison. Meaning that certain foreign oil interests won't be overjoyed. True enough. It could obviously cost them billions. You saw what happened in the parking lot. But how did they find out? A security leak, unhappily. Not at Intersect. No, no, no. In Washington, I'm afraid. You see, last week I contacted federal authorities and told them we planned to deliver two gallons of Tripolidine to the Federal Energy Commission's branch office in Long Beach, where it would be tested and certified. My purpose was to request an army convoy. Within a matter of hours, Mr. Driscoll had a call from the head of an international oil combine. They wanted to buy all the rights to Tripolidine. <sighs> to suppress it, of course. <laughs> of course. That's why I urged Mr. Driscoll to get the additive to the Federal Energy Commission as quickly as possible. 
Meaning tomorrow. Operation delivery will begin at precisely 0500 hours when an army convoy will depart the laboratory. But in view of the security breach and just between the four of us, that convoy will be a decoy and will not be carrying the tripolidine. All right, so who will? You will, Sam. Sam, at precisely 600 hours, this rig will arrive at Dr. Hale's laboratory, and you will be at the wheel. Let's take a look inside. Dr. Hale has devised this chamber, constructed a bullet-resisting armor plate. That's right. Now, Dr. Hale will ride in here with a two-gallon bottle of tripolidine, his special equipment used in the refining process, and all his secret formulas. Okay, I think I get it. If we run into any trouble, then Dr. Hale can hold out in here until help arrives. Is that the idea? Right. Now, Sam, the Federal Energy Agency closes tomorrow at 1,800 hours. Your mission is to protect Dr. Hale and get this rig to Long Beach on time. Well, now, Leonard, I tell you, there's only one problem with me driving this rig. Well, what's that? I haven't got a union card. <laughs> this is overview. Army convoy has picked up material at secret base as ordered. Now approaching checkpoint Charlie. Roger, Colonel. Sam, are you in position yet? Affirmative, Big Daddy. I just arrived at the lab. Good. Proceed with operation. Out. Well, what do you think, Doctor? You about ready to move out? Well, just about. A couple of more items. Okay. Oh, my. What's the matter? It's an oversight. I just realized that a piece of equipment I have stored in a warehouse in Dawson is absolutely indispensable. Well, no problem. We can stop on the way and pick it up. And we'll be behind schedule. Yeah, not if we leave now. Well, fine. I'm ready. All righty. convoy has left the operations underway. I know that. I'm on my way to Hale's lab. Why? Well, Sam was supposed to meet me last night to synchronize his life system with my recorder. But he bumped into this blonde in the commissary and... I know, I know, I know. And disappeared. Well, go. you still got 40 minutes. Righto. Well, I can't sing, but I don't care. And as long as my CB radio's here, I'm on there. I'm on there. I ain't got no record, ain't got no band, but I got me a song about a truck driving man, and I'm on there. I said, I'm on there. I'm on there. I said, I'm on there. Yeah, encore, encore. Well, thank you there, music lover. It's Lazy Rider here. Buffalo Bill, howdy. Howdy, Buffalo, where you rolling? Uh, Route 4, passing Palem. Hey, what do you know? I'm right on your back door, buddy. Good, you can keep the black barts off my mud flaps. Say that again? Uh, hijackers. They hit along this route five times last month. I uh, got you. Ten four. Sam. Yo. Are we on schedule? Uh, we're ten minutes ahead, Doctor. Fine, thank you. I'm going to start to work on the patent applications. Okie dokie.
ten million dollars. Flying to Switzerland. And with ten million dollars. Office. This is Abby. Get me Mr. Driscoll. Yes? Miss Lawrence on six. Abby? Leonard, listen to me. This whole thing is a fraud. Abby! Sam is in terrible trouble. Tripolidine is chemically unstable. Hello, hello. Grace, I've been cut off. Its molecular structure breaks down, and it transforms itself into an explosive more violent than nitroglycerin. I don't know how long it takes, but just a couple of drops on a tissue nearly blew this whole room apart. The slightest jar in that truck that Sam is driving, and he's gonna be blown to smithereens. Leonard. Leonard, are you there? I doubt it very much. No way, my girl. No way. Put her in the copter. You want to sign for this stuff? Dr. Hale says to tell you this bag isn't even his. You see that? Dummy, it's not even from his locker. Put it back. Let me change that invoice, will you? Okay, there you go. All right, thank you. Right. Delicate improvisation, Stark. Miss Nosy, I mean. Yeah, kind of guarantees her total disappearance. Uh huh. Along with mine, allegedly. <laughs> Charver's out back. Good, let's get going. back there, Doctor. All fine, Sam, just fine. 
Uh, but I'm working on my uh, patent papers, and I really would appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Sorry. You didn't give yourself much leeway. Plenty. In every experiment I conducted, it took nearly three hours for the molecular structure to break down. I wonder how Intersex are going to feel when they learn that Dr. Hale, together with all the secrets for tribality, have been blown sky high by the agents of the International Oil Cartel. How long now? The first good bump in the road. Sam. Shame on you, Big Daddy. You just blown my cover. Sam, you know very well we're on the scrambler. Now, did Abby make contact for synchronization exercise? Make contact? Where? At the lab. No, but then uh, we left a little ahead of schedule, Leonard. Well, if she didn't find you at the lab, she's probably trying to overtake. She said you're nearly a minute out of sync. Yeah, which way? I don't know. But according to my recorder, you got 14 minutes and 10 seconds of invisibility left. Well, that's my reading, too, Leonard. Well, maybe it's Abby that's out of sync. But she reaches you, have her contact me, too. 
Black Marsh. Lazy Rider. Buffalo Bill. Good to meet you. Nice to see you. You're a one-man army, ain't you? Well, a little fancy footwork, that's all. <laughs> Why don't you uh, take care of these, and I'll uh, call the county mounting. OK. OK, boys. Smokey's going to put you in the pokey. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Come on, let's join your friends. Let's go. Yeah, get together. Make a little group there, huh? Sam! Sam! Well, Buffalo, Smokies are on their way. Oh, good. Listen, I got to get moving. I got a schedule to keep. Can you uh, handle it from here? Yeah, sure. And uh, thanks, buddy. Hey, no problem. Casey to intersect. Mr. Driscoll, Sam Casey on three. Yes, Sam. Leonard, I got a chopper. Seems to be hanging around. Registration number 20 Delta Bravo. Check it out with the FAA for me, will you? 20 Delta Bravo will do. Have you heard from Abby? Negative. I'll get you later, Leonard. Schedule. I see that we should have cleared Cedarville by 2.30. Looks like we're running half an hour late. I'd like you to step on it. Oh, sure. And go bumpity bump. Oh. Say no, Sam. Roger. Lazy Rider here. I'm clearing Cedarville and heading west. Have I got a front door? Sure have, good buddy. Little old Buffalo Bill. Hey, Buffalo. I got a problem. I got to burn some rubber, buddy, and I can't abide any Smokies. Well, the road's clean, but, uh, looks like a bear in the air back your way. Yeah, I got my sights on him, Bill, but that's no smoking. Okay, Lazy Rider. Let's lay that hammer down. I said lay down the highway, get out of my way, I'm gonna roll all over you. Stand back, Skyway, get out of my way, the buffalo's coming through. Well, I got myself a mean machine, and we're blasting fast and burning clean. I said lay down the highway, I'm rolling all over Come on, roll, roll, roll all over you. Come on, roll, roll, roll all over you. 
I got myself a clean machine and we're blasting fast and burning clean. I said, lay down the highway, I'm rolling all over you. I'm on the roll, roll, roll all over you. On the roll, roll, roll all over you. I said, stand back, Skyway, get out of my way, the buffalo's coming through. I said, lay down the highway, I'm rolling all over you. Woo! Woo! Get it. The Tripolidine should be bouncing around like a bowling ball by now. Well, there's only one possible explanation. Somehow, that girl has managed to free herself and she's done something to neutralize the vibration. Well, he'll be in Desmond soon. That should do it. Yes, yeah, Sam? Yes, sir? It's riding very rough back here. Oh, brother, you can say that again. I think one of our shocks is gone. Why don't you pull into the next service station and have them check it out? We certainly don't want to end up in a ditch, do we? Well, I'd never forgive myself if anyone got hurt. Oh! <gasps> Shots, will you? Sure. Casey. Sam, the chopper belongs to Aircraft Leasing Incorporated in Hayden. It was rented out last night to a man named Luther Stark. Luther Stark, huh? Uh, could that be a phony name, huh? No, 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 no. Well, he had to show his pilot's license. Anyway, we're running a top priority check with the FBI, CIA, Interpol. Hold it, hold it, hold it, Sam. Just gotta tell it's that. <laughs> well, obviously the eccentric Dr. Hale didn't fully trust our security measures and has laid on a little extra protection of his own. What do you mean, Leonard? Wait a minute, I don't get the connection. There's teletypes from the Canadian Royal Mounted Police in Toronto. Seems a few years back, Dr. Hale was doing some kind of research at Brownell University. There was an arsonist-type fire in his lab, and the man who pulled Hale out was Luther Stark. Obviously, Hale has his old friend flying surveillance in that chopper. Surveillance? <laughs> That's not his bag. He's a scientist. Something's fishy, Leonard. Yeah, I know, I know. Be careful, Sam. Right. Shots are okay. Uh, good. Yeah, I thought they were all right. Listen, what do I owe you? Catch you next time. Thank you. Hey, have a nice day. All right, you too. Type fire. I'm sorry about that last bump, Dr. Hale. I hit a hole in the road. What bump? I hope it didn't jar you too badly. Well, well, it almost knocked my glasses off. <laughs> but that isn't important. We have to make up that lost time. Roger. Clear the path. I'm a runaway. I repeat, I'm a runaway. What's the problem, Lazy Rider? A 
Buffalo, I got no brakes, buddy. Where are you? I'm on Hill 10 and I'm flying. I mean, man, I am coming down on a wing and a prayer. Okay, I got your front door. Now listen close, old buddy. I'm listening. If you can make that straightaway downgrade, then maybe I can help you, except you're gonna have one tiny little problem. Yeah, how tiny? Those last hairpin curves right before the straightaway? I just went through them. Ain't nobody ever made it doing over 30. What's your speed? 40 and climbing. Gosh, old buddy. All I can say is I hope we meet again someday on that big highway in the sky. Well, you sure know how to cheer a guy up. straight away, buddy. Well, hallelujah and praise the Lord. The real tough problem's just beginning, Lazy Rider. Your speed's gonna build up, and that's about the time you're gonna be coming up on old Buffalo's hindquarters. miles an hour. Oh, man, I hope the Joe's easy. I got a very dangerous cargo. Well, now you tell me. What are you carrying? Forty crates of eggs. I sure hope you like them scrambled. Sam, why have we... 
we stopped. As if you didn't know. Look, I'm uh, sorry about that ride, Mr. Hale. Looks like the uh, air brakes went out on me. Don't worry about anything I can get fixed. Just have to uh, get out the old toolbox. Uh, yeah, all right, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's fine, Sam. Well, I guess you won't be needing me anymore. I gotta get rolling. Bill, uh, thanks for saving my neck, buddy. Well, like I said, I owed you one. Well, we're even now. Yeah. Hey, Bill, you take it easy, huh? You too, Lazy Rider. Taking him so long in there. Oh, Sam. Happy. Now hold it, Sam. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This, this is unbelievable. Tripolidines and explosive? And Abby was locked up by Dr. Hale? Incredible. All right, Sam, all right, all right. I'll be on my way as soon as I can dispatch a local bomb squad. But under no circumstances, touch that tripolidine. Or move that truck. As Abby says, one slightest jar and I might blow it all to pieces. Believe me, Leonard, I wouldn't move this rig another foot for all the rice in China. All right, look, I'll talk at you later. Okay, Abby, look, I'm gonna go out there and try and stall him. And please, stay out of trouble. I think he's on to us. Well, he'd be a fool if he wasn't after that ploy with the brakes. We gotta know. There's only one way to find out. Uh, Sam? You? Where are we? Cobb's Junction, uh, just over the city line. Well, then, uh, drive to the Valco station. It'll speed up the repair job. Drive without brakes? Well, it's uh, only a block or two. Uh, you can gear down. Uh, no, 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 it's too dangerous. Uh, besides, I'll have these brakes fixed in a minute. He knows. Get me in a position for a shot at the gas tank. The whole town will go up. So the whole town will go up. Along with Casey, the girl, and allegedly yours truly. Ten million dollars, Luther. Ten mil. All right, but I can't get too close or we'll go up with it. Sam, stop! What are you doing? Get out of here! 
still shooting at the gas tank. If I don't get this rig out of town, there's gonna be no town. Come on, Amy, get off of there, get off! Survive. Well, I want to make absolutely sure. He could be hiding somewhere. No way. He was blown to bits. No. This can't be. You're dead? Not really. Well, how would you like to see a ghost punch? Hold it, Casey! Wait a minute, Doctor. That's not gonna work. For your plan to succeed, I had to die in that explosion, right? Now, how are you gonna explain a bullet? Huh? I don't care anymore. Destroyed all my plans. Somehow you've countered my every move. Well, let me see you counter this. Are you through? Huh? <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. Bad guys finish last. Do whatever made you think you could get away with this insane scheme. I would have. Except for him. Listen, Driscoll, whatever happens to me, there's, there's something you should know. The man's inhuman. Unnatural. He, he vanished. Disappeared right before my very eyes into thin air. You're imagining things, mm -mm. Doctor. Mm -mm. Hallucinations no. of a guilty mind. No. No, 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 no. Into thin air, I tell you. The only thing that vanished was the $10 million we spent on this fraud! <laughs> Not funny. What am I gonna tell the Bureau of the Budget? Well, that's no problem, Leonard. There's a bank down the street. So what? So, uh, the chief needs 10 mil, we'll get him 10 mil, right, sweetheart? Oh, sure, Sam. That cracker box is a pushover. Now, wait a minute, you two. Be back with the loot in five minutes, Leonard. Sam. 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 See, see, he did it again. He's human. He's in the air. He's just in the air. I tell you. Optical illusion. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam.